different treatment, and that country is France. In France, if you buy one book, you pay ten dollars. If you buy two books, you pay an extra of twenty cents. So, Amazon showed an incredible increase in its revenues in the entire world, but France. So, French people were reluctant to buy the second book. Why? Because they did not hear the word free. So, what did Amazon do at the end? They actually changed their shipping campaign. In France, they incorporated the word free, but boom, an increase in their revenues. So, how to make you want what you don't want? Use the word free. Now, I want to keep my promise to you. Before starting this conversation, I said I would show you a little trick how to decrease your energy goal. Well, another experiment done was done by some students, some graduate students in California. And these students were very uh, concerned with energy consumption of an average household. So they picked a neighborhood in California, and they decided to give these three, these three messages. So they divided California, uh, a neighborhood in California into three. First, you we'll see the message saying, you know what, if you turn off your air conditioning, and turn on the fan, you can save $55 this summer. The second group of people will see the message saying, well, would you like to be environmentally friendly? Why not? We live in a fan all together. So just turn off your air conditioning and turn on your fan. And the last group received a message saying, you know that this is the ethical thing to do. So just turn off your air conditioning. So, who thinks that the third message works? Could you please raise your hands? No one. <laughs> Who thinks that the second one works? Okay, one person thinks the second one works. Very nice. I'm very mad when you think that way. Who thinks that the first one worked? The majority. So, the answer is no. None of these messages work. It was as if the graduate students did not show up at all. So, home economicus, our utility maximizer, bye bye, it's gone, it's gone. So, well, think about it. You are a graduate student, you're in California, it's very hot, you conduct this experiment, you have no results. Super frustrating. But these graduate students are very persistent, actually. So, what they did was they had a little help from behavioral economics, and they added a, pile, a message to the pile of messages. And they chose another neighborhood, another sample, and they reconducted the experiment. So, right now it's like this. One quarter of the people receive a message saying, be rational. The second quarter receives a message saying, be environmentally friendly. Third group receives a message saying, be uh, ethical. The last group receives this. Well, you know what? Your neighbors, they are saving $55 this summer. They are being environmental friendly. They are being ethical. Just put it out there. So what happened? People who received this message, they actually showed a decrease in their energy consumption. So, but I could be long established that what moves us is not environmental friendliness or ethics. You know, that was long gone. But what happened? To our capitalistic rationality. It's nowhere. So what moves us is social stigma. My advice to you, you want to decrease your energy consumption, go learn how much your neighbor pays. So before starting this conversation, I told you that um, I have slightly more power in your life than you do. That was because I knew what sort of traps you might fall when I to do financial decisions. Well, right now we're even. Now you know how uh, we, how dummy very will alter our minds, how they go crazy over the word free, and how we can't see the thing of the words of others. So people who know these tricks decide, not we. They make us want what they want. So today my aim was to challenge the way you think, and hopefully I have an impact on your financial decision making in the future. So, you want to change yourself, learn what your actual decisions are.